Our Pacific Western Sales website now allows you to create your own virtual samples in a matter of minutes. Our online virtual sample builder is very easy to use, so let's take a quick look at how it works. Say you're interested in a non-woven tote bag, a green non-woven tote bag. This is the product that you're looking for, and now you want to create a virtual sample with a logo. Uh, you simply click here, and it opens a new window. Again, you can see your product. Here you can see Add Logo, Save Send, and Advanced Mode. You want to start off by adding the logo. Here it gives you a list of the accepted files, and it gives you a few options. We want to use Hotel Indigo, and we want to hit Open. Now, we have the option to remove all white. Don't remove white and just from edges. We're going to ask it to remove the white. Now, you hit Upload Logo. Now your logo has been uploaded. And let's say at this point you're happy with the, the final look of this virtual and you're ready to save and send. You click here and it opens the window. You have the option to save your virtual to your computer or you can go ahead and also email it to your client directly from this window. You have the option to send the virtual sample image only or you can send with full editing interface which will allow your client to utilize Technologo to further customize their virtual sample. So let's say we're not ready for that. We actually, we want to make more changes to this. So we want to go to advanced mode. Advanced mode has the option to place art, place text, and here you can have the option to change the color of your logo to just about any color that you wish. You can use the color picker, or you can even have a PMS color. Let's say that we actually want to do even more than that. We want to go to Advanced Color Changer. Here, you can click on this, and then you go to your artwork, and you select the part of the artwork that you want to change the color. You click it, and it highlights it for you. Then you go to Change Color, and you pick the color that you want your art to be changed to. Say I'm happy with this color. Use this color. Now that color has been changed. Let's say I also want to change my O. And I want to change it to this color. It changes it for me. So let's say I kind of like this, so I'm going to go with it. You hit OK. And over here you can see those changes were applied. Now let's say on top of that, we want to add some text. Bags donated by. And we want to make the text white and we want to make it bold. And now we want to place the text. And there's the text. Now say we changed our mind, we actually don't like this font. We can go back here and again change the font. And move it around. You also have the, op the option to scale or skew. I think we need to skew this somewhat to fit the area. So there, I'm going to go back to scale, make it somewhat smaller. And I think we're good with that. Now, let's say we want to add another logo. So you go to place art. Here, as you can see, there's a temporary art folder. Here, you're allowed to upload a couple of logos without having to create an account. However, if you want to save your virtuals, you do have to register, which is very easy. You just fill out this form, hit register, and it will create an account for you. But that's not necessary. You can do all this without having an account. You just go here to upload art to this folder. You browse, and let's say we want to add the PWS logo. You hit open, and you upload. You give it a few seconds and then there's your artwork. Say we want to place it now on our virtual sample. And here it is. So you can see the white was not dropped. There's still that white background. But all you have to do is go here and it drops it for you. Clear white. Now you want to mess around with the logo just to make it look good on this bag. Skew it. Um, there you go. And now you want to move this one somewhat down. This one there. And let's say that's what you want your bag to look like. You're happy with that. 
Now you can save if you have an account. If you don't, you can simply email this to your client. Click here, give it a few seconds, and it will open up a window that will allow you to send this. Or you can add this to a new flyer. So you can see this virtual has been added to a flyer. Now you can preview and send the flyer. Click there and it opens this flyer. You can customize. You can change the colors in the background. You can upload a logo. You can send the virtual sample out. Um, but we don't want to do that yet. So we can click here to close and start a new flyer. Um, you know, after this, you can go back to the website and you can look around some more. You can find another product. You can do a whole new virtual and you can add it to the to the flyer. As you can see, it will always remember the last logo that was uploaded until you go here and you remove it. If you do not hit remove existing logo, it will always remember the last logo that was in there. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, now that you guys had a chance to get more familiar with this tool, I ask that you guys take a few minutes and explore it yourself and you'll see that it is really, really simple. Well, thank you all.